But the truth is far more horrific. The scope, the depth of this conspiracy is shocking. Here, take a blue pill or a red pill. Do you want to wake up? Do you want to know the truth? The story of the tablets. These four mythical tablets known as the Tristan Chronicles. Thought to be lost to time. Whisper throughout time as the greatest story never told. Wrote by a scribe from a verbal story from the Sumerian King Omni, who ruled for 28,000 years. That was 250,000 years ago. And after an army descended from the heavens, he told his tale, called the Tristan Chronicles. A planet that was destroyed and the gods that came from there, whom later we would call angels. The tablets are said to be the oldest ancient record of the war in heaven. The tablets were thought to be lost when Alexander that great library burned to the ground. For hundreds of years, the tablets are lost. And the world grows. Until an archaeologist named Igor Van Sultan dedicated his life to ancient relics and just returned from Germany from the Great Pyramids when World War II breaks out. It doesn't take long till Van Sultan is talking to Hitler about his relic hunting and digging in ancient ruins. Hitler, in his total lust for power, sends Van Sultan on a secret mission to secure all ancient relics from Egypt under any means necessary. Van Sultan takes a small army and goes to Alexandria, where the great library once stood they started to dig. They pull out many artifacts, and he spends most of the war digging at the ancient site. Off the corner of the library, in case all of them, they find it. The Tristan Chronicles. Four tablets, written in an ancient language that has never before been seen. Van Sultran takes the tablets back to Berlin himself. But the Berlin he left so many years ago is not the same. This is the final days of the war. And the once great, proud Germany is now nothing but rubble. And Hitler, he's hiding in this bunker. And the Russians have him surrounded. They're fighting in the streets. The Russians are winning. Van Sultan knows he has to act fast. He makes a plan. And something out of a Hollywood movie? He's trying to escape with the tablets. He crosses the line and he turns himself over to the Russian high command. Stalin was so fascinated with the tablets he puts Van Sultan to work on translating the tablets. And for years, Van Sultan is quiet. We find Van Sultran ten years later, working out of his office, not for not far from Red Square. His longtime assistant, Gabriel Yuskilovich, is the only person to share the office with him. We know that Van Sultran is the head of the new Russian rocket program, but all of these strange rumors starts to come out through these underground sources, these secret bases, with this awesome new technology. There are many first-hand reports of Stalin and Van Sultan spending many nights studying the tablets alone. The Tristan Chronicles. Tablets. Were under armed guard almost every night. Then Stalin dies. A well-known fact is that Stalin, in his tomb, 
is buried with it, the corner piece of one of the tablets. And in 1972, Van Sultan passes from cancer. And the tablets are missing until 1982, when President Reagan sees them for the first time. In 1982, under the cloak of night, President Reagan takes Air Force One to Moscow, where Gorbachev is waiting with some of the top secret Russian scientists. They show President Reagan the ancient tablets. 